This video explains how to reproduce and fix the error message incorrect dimensions in the R programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you a very simple example. And this example is based on the vector object that we can create with line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new data object called X is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our example data object is a vector object that contains five different characters. Now let's assume that we want to create a subset of this vector object. Then we might try to apply the code that you can see in line five. So in this case, we specify square brackets to create a subset of our data object. And then we specify that we want to extract the first to the third elements in our data object. However, after running this line of code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the error message error in X incorrect number of dimensions is appearing. And the reason for that is that we have specified two dimensions when subsetting our data object. So in this case, we are trying to subset three rows and three columns. However, our data object has only vector elements. So if we want to subset a data object, we have to specify the correct number of dimensions, such as in line seven, for example. So in this example, I'm subsetting only the first three elements of our vector object. So as you can see, after running line seven of the code, no error message is returned anymore. However, instead, we get a valid output which contains the first three elements of our vector. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.